Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor Lewis with the Pulmonary Performance Institute and today what I want to do is want to talk about and integrate thoracic rotation with hip internal rotation. So when your body is moving, when I decide to step forward, I'm going to drive into some hip internal rotation, but you'll also see I'm going to get some thoracic rotation going on. Now what happens often is when I go to land, if I don't have good hip internal rotation, I'm going to have to drive some type of rotation somewhere else. That tends to be the lower back or you'll get some cranking at the neck. So what I want to do is with Kevin here is we're going to first work on some hip shifting to get some loading and really feel what loading into the hips is. Then we're going to add the thoracic component. So we're going to integrate lower and upper together to kind of improve. And Kevin's a golfer and he likes to improve thoracic rotation for drive. So this is a perfect exercise for people trying to improve rotation, so rotational athletes, but sometimes just if you feel stiff walking and moving, because this is key, like I says, once I step, I need to internally rotate, I need to rotate, and then I need to be able to get out of that. So this is something that we can do. So Kevin's gonna just take this dodgeball. You can use a pillow, you just need to put something between your knees. He's gonna start with his feet parallel to each other. Everyone's stance is gonna be different. But what I've told him to do before is you wanna feel the insides of the feet. Oftentimes we're gonna get a lot of the lateral aspect of the foot here. So you wanna love and live on the insides of the feet to create a good strong foundation. Now from this position, he's gonna load back just a little bit to get a little hip hinge there. And he's going to squeeze the ball and then pull one knee back. And I'm actually gonna push his hips back a tad more, bend the knees just a little bit. There you go. So whichever side he's working on, he's gonna Squeeze, pull, and then shift. And then you'll see his hips are gonna move side to side here. And it's not gonna be a lot. And as he's pulling back through, the, he's getting inside, he's feeling the adductors, he's really feeling some of the inside hamstrings, all areas at which help load you into the hips. So once again, if you can't load well into the hips, then it's gonna be hard to generate forces with, when you're trying to use the hips. Now, what we're gonna to add to this is he's gonna add the thoracic position. So what's gonna happen is when he's in the hips, he's gonna load into one side. So if I'm loading into the left by squeezing and pulling back, then he's gonna rotate that way towards that knee that's pulling in. Then he's gonna shift out, pull in, and then rotate the other way. So he's gonna squeeze, and since he's going to the left, he's gonna rotate, he's gonna watch, adding thoracic rotation, come back. Then he's gonna shift, rotate, and then he's gonna repeat this so now what he's doing is he's hip shifting and then adding that thoracic rotation that accompany each other when you walk, when you rotate. Any rotational athlete will have some component of this. But the key with this one is he still feels the inside of these arches. He still feels a good foundation here. Because if you lose the inside and you get the outside, the forces are gonna change where you're feeling this. So you should feel the adductors. You should feel the inside of the hamstrings. You should really feel the inside of those feet. So when you go to rotate, I load into the hips and then I get out of the hips. So think about that when you're talking about improving hip internal rotation, which will allow you to improve thoracic rotation. So sometimes you're like, well I need to improve hip or thoracic rotation. Sometimes it needs to start a little bit lower in improving hip internal rotation. So try that exercise out and see if that helps when you're trying to improve the overall aspect of getting into the hips and then rotating out of the hips. And if you like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pulmonary Performance Institute, for more great videos. We'll see you guys next time.